Yeah. Look at that. It's good They're for like them. sisters. Good for their blogs. Yeah, they just, you yeah, know, they, the they seem very happy together. Except Sally's like nice having siblings, so she's not free. Yeah. yeah, Sally's like, oh, my sister. So far this month, I broke $100,000 in more, so 100, zero to 100,000 bucks in 18 days. But that 100 grand also pushed me to 900,000 this year in more earnings. 19, and what's your number, John? 12. 12, and yeah. here comes our stuff. So you're sitting on a There you go. Of he's, I got a 12 as well. Typical, he's gonna, he's gonna deliver my dish last. Actually, uh, what is this? Hey, hey, how come everyone gets their pho and I don't have mine? <laughs> what? Well, where's my pho? Yes, put it What's in order because you're on a bike. <laughs> what the? It's in order. <laughs> Everyone gets the pho. You're, you're, you're brewing emotions the bike. There's blatant favoritism here, man. Everyone got the pho. Where's my one? I don't know. There's blatant favoritism. We got the right order, right? Yes. Now he's just messing with you. Now he's doing yeah, he's just, I, I, yeah, he's just messing with me. He is. Yeah. Anyway, uh, at least I got my coffee. He's purposely making it so I get it last. You are, aren't you? See, it, 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 it's not exactly. It's not for me. I, I am last. You did this on purpose. <laughs> oh, you, oh, save the best for last. Okay, save the, not the, save the best for save the best for last. I like that. Okay, that. I'll let you get away with that then. There it is. The best for last, number seventeen. Well, what are those things, Claire? Are they candy? Yeah. Do you eat them? Yeah. Or are they soap? Yes. I don't know, what are those things? Eczema? Eczema? Is that what it's called? No, well, what, what are these things that Claire has? I have no idea. She just made them out of Play Doh. Oh, oh, they made, oh, they just Play Doh. Oh, here I thought she made some rock candy or something. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, you like it, eh? That's great. During the uh, recent Affiliate Summit East in New York, I had a, I was given a copy of this book. It's called Drug of Choice by Mark Van Stratum. And it's kind of like a autobiography of Mark here. And how Mark went from a drug dealer, who was a one-armed drug dealer, all right, did a lot of illegal things. Then he became a pickup artist. And then he became an affiliate marketer. So this is his life story in this book. And it's an interesting read. And uh, it's kind of indicative of the characters that are in the affiliate marketing industry. We have drug dealers going, <laughs> one-armed drug dealer, pickup artist, affiliate marketer, and that's a whole bunch of people with this kind of story. I love reading it. I'm, I'm hoping one day, you know, uh, our spammer friend, what's it, what was his name again? I forgot. <laughs> but he owns affiliate.com. I think Oscar met him once. But he was one of the biggest spammers in the world. He, who was it? Scott Richter. Scott Richter. Yeah, that's right. Scott Richter. So Scott, you need to write a book because I want to read your story. Like the, for those who know, Scott was a mass email deployer. All right, he was a mass email deployer. Uh, Microsoft tried to sue him for a hundred million dollars. Uh, he, he almost took down MySpace, and basically uh, he would built in the fines and the penalties and a lawsuit into his business model. And if he still make money, he just went and did it. And in the end, what happened is he spun that money off into affiliate.com, and now he's runs now he's one of the biggest affiliate networks in the world. And I, I would be a bit interesting as drug of choice, but this is a good book. And uh, if you, I'm not sure, I got it for free at Affiliate Summit. You can check it out, see if it's at Amazon. If it is, it's, it's definitely worth a read. It's pretty, pretty interesting, and uh, really kind of brings to likes the characters and the personalities in our industry. <laughs> yeah.